Hello. Today is the 30th anniversary of when I bought Street Fighter II Special Champion Edition for the Sega Genesis. I bought it on December the 11th, 1993. I didn't have enough money to buy it until I recycled a bunch of aluminum cans. I went to Kmart and bought it and it cost about $68 before tax. This is a fighting game. You can choose to be 12 different fighters and you have to fight 12 different fighters including the own character you're playing as. Fighters you can choose to be are Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Blanket, Dollyism, E. Honda, Gal, Zangief, and you can also play as the bosses on this version, which is Vega, Balrog, Saget, and M. Bison. There are special moves that you can use for each character that can help you beat the game. Now, sadly, I wasn't able to figure out how to do those special moves. So to be able to win, I, I usually had to use E. Honda. I, I was able to slap people silly with him. I was also good uh, with Balrog. He can give people head bunts. But if you were, if you were able to use the special moves on all of the fighters, then I congratulate you. You're a very good video game player. When I bought this game, my brother had already bought Mortal Kombat. And he swore me down uh, that Capcom got the idea to make this game from Mortal Kombat. But what he or I, or I neither one knew at the time was that Street Fighter 2 came out in the arcade in 1991, a year before Mortal Kombat. So, what my brother was thinking was impossible. Now, I will have to admit, I do like Mortal Kombat a little more than Street Fighter 2 because of the blood and finishing move. But I do, and I've always loved Street Fighter 2. Now, the next summer, in 1994, my brother bought Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior, for the Super Nintendo. And I was surprised when I learned that you couldn't play as any of the four bosses. I learned that you could only do that in Special Champion Edition and then also in Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the uh, Super Nintendo. Now one thing I didn't like about Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition is that it won't let you see the endings of all the 12 characters unless you put it on one of the harder skill levels. And I've always thought that sucked. I mean, with Mortal Kombat, it would show the endings on no matter what skill level you had it on. And the people who made Eternal Champions did something that I thought was dumb. They said, uh, send your uh, other fighting games to us and we'll give you a ten dollar uh, discount on Eternal Champion. Uh, well, that was dumb. I mean, don't you think it would have been dumb if after I paid sixty eight dollars plus tax for Street Fighter 2 that I would have sent it in to get a mere ten dollars off of Eternal Champions? That was dumb. And I'm sorry, but anybody who did that was dumb. 
but Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. It is a very good game. And I'm glad I bought it. And it doesn't seem like it's been 30 years since I bought it. And I have a message for my younger viewers. If you're like 18, 19, 20, uh, you better enjoy your youth while you have it. Because the next 30 years are going to fly. It doesn't seem like it's been 30 years since I bought this game. But it has. When I bought this game, I was 22. Now I'm 52. Well, this has been my video. Thanks for watching.